What's up, binge watchers? Today we're going to learn how to make a meme of the slowly dying legend Joe Exotic. So, go to Photoshop. I have one queued up already. Um, it's pretty much the most popular Joe Exotic photo, so it's pretty easy to find. Um, I don't want these extras here, so I'm going to go to View and Hide Extras. Um, hit Command J to make a uh, duplicate of the background layer. Let's name this original, and I'll lock it for now as well. Um, so yeah, what we want to do today is uh, we want to do the kind of meme that I see lately where you just take a celebrity's face and you put it over another celebrity's face. Um, I kind of have one queued up already as well, um, but you can pick whoever you want. I, I think this one uh, makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, we want to make a Trump mask and put it over Joe Exotic. So we're going to do a pretty rough job. Um, so yeah, hit L or the uh, lasso tool, and yeah, I'm just gonna kind of roughly go over Trump's face. Uh, yeah, and you know he's kind of built, you know, like a bag of turkey. Ugh, I don't like, ugh, I don't like that part. Uh, so yeah, you can be kind of loose, and yeah, it doesn't matter if you get like some background in or anything like that. Um, because yeah, we're gonna be painting some back in later. So yeah, and after you have uh, the, these are called the marching ants, uh, it's just a live selection. Instead of doing like a copy paste, which would destroy um, the uh, the background where you couldn't bring any back in, we want to make something more editable. So go here, and that's going to add layer mask. Um, so yeah, now you see we, uh, we literally have a mask of Donald Trump that we can put over Joe Exotic. And yeah, I kind of want to edit the angle a little bit. I think just kind of want to make it look semi-natural. Got some noise down here, but that's fine. Can fix that a little bit later. And yeah, just keep uh, expanding it, you know, rotating it. Uh, to rotate it, you just go outside of these little handles and you'll see that little icon that you can uh, kind of rotate it back and forth. And yeah, the handles obviously um, stretch his face out, so. Yeah, just kind of, I think that looks pretty nice. Um, there's a couple of things that, you know, we need to work on, but as far as just like how it, he's looking and just like the face shape, I think I think this looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, what we want to do now is we just kind of want to soften up these hard lines uh, around the edge, and the way we're going to do that is by editing our layer mask. So click, don't have uh, the object um, highlighted, make sure the layer mask thumbnail is highlighted and yeah um, we want to use the default colors white and black you can hit D and we're gonna toggle through them with X like this kind of often but uh, from here we want to grab the brush tool um, make sure you have your hardness turned down to zero or at least pretty pretty like a low percentage um, and yeah the size we're gonna toggle with the left and right bracket kind of often like this so um, yeah, from here we're going to use black and white. Black will take away the Trump image and reveal the Joe image. And white will paint in the Trump in image and cover the Joe image. So we're just going to kind of roughly um, paint some back in. Just kind of see where we're at. And yeah, just anything that we don't want, we're going to paint back away. And again, doing it pretty rough. Uh, not, I'm, I'm going to keep some of that. toggle back and forth. I don't want Trump's hair as much, so and yeah, you're constantly hitting X to toggle between black and white, and you're constantly just hitting your brackets to get the brush that you want. And yeah, also Command Z to undo everything, but yeah, you just kind of do this for a while. You just paint in and out. Always just uh, zoom in. Um, kind of see, oops, kind of you know, see the areas that you have to work with, uh, you know, you can kind of paint in some of these areas a little bit later, but yeah, mostly just getting, yeah, still just getting kind of an idea, we're not married to any of these choices, we can always come back in and fix it later, so yeah, you can kind of be a little bit loose, like, uh, yeah, I know I had that, like, oh god, 
I had that issue a lot when I was uh like first starting. I, I was trying to be like very precise with every click, but you learn a little bit after a, a while that you can uh, you know get away with a lot of mistakes just you know as long as you know how to come back in later and fix them. Let's see, I want, I want like that little bit of line. Just kind of want to fake this a little bit. Just go real soft through here. And yeah, I'm actually gonna get rid of some of this. I don't like that texture as much. So yeah, that's a uh, that's not too bad actually. Um, like a lot. Go up, yeah. Fix that just a little bit. Um. So yeah, somehow Joe Exotic is a little bit more uh, red than Trump. So. Uh, we're going to make that adjustment too, so um, make sure your layer mask is highlighted, hit command, and click, and that's going to make a selection around uh, yeah the mask that we've made. And we're going to make a new adjustment layer, so go down here, and hue and saturation, we're going to saturate Trump just a little bit, just to kind of make his tone more uh, like this, this uh, you know Oklahoma man underneath. Um, maybe not that much. We'll go a little bit lighter. We'll go to about to, jeez, 25. I think looks right. Jeez. Um. Yeah. So that's a. I kind of like that already. Um. We're gonna make a few more adjustments. So I'm gonna make a new layer, and I'm just gonna call this retouch. So this is where we're gonna kind of like work around with uh, some of these textures and colors, and kind of fix any little imperfections. So. I'm going to first use the, uh, the clone stamp tool and I kind of want to fix some of this stuff down here. Um, so yeah, this kind of yellow is what I want to fix. So I'm going to highlight some of this red and I'm just going to kind of paint out a little bit of that. And make it just... I want to go a little bit darker. A bit too much. Yeah, I'm even going to yeah, kind of fake some of this Trump texture back in too. So you can kind of switch back and forth. And yeah, anything that doesn't kind of look right, yeah, you can kind of like just make a quick adjustment on it. I fix some of this jawline here, so I'm just going to sample some of this skin. Yeah, just constantly resampling is kind of the key to doing this. That looks pretty good. Um, this might be a problem area, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with it anyway. Kind of want this part of his head to have some texture. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna sample some of. Trump skin from down here and just draw it. I'm going to kind of follow the face to kind of draw that in really quick. Um, I'm not going to focus on this too much because, yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like how goofy it looks. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Um, so, yeah, um, I kind of like that. Uh, we're going to, you know, at, make this, you know, real true meme. Um, so hit T, we're going to add a text layer, you want to use impacts, um, that's uh, kind of the de facto uh, meme, meme font, learn how to spell, um, yeah I'm going to highlight both and oops make sure that that layer is not locked. I'm gonna highlight both just so I can center a line 
my text. I don't want to block up my beautiful tiger. And yeah, we want to add a stroke to just kind of make that pop a little bit. So we're going to go to effects and go to stroke. Um, change the color to black. And I want the stroke to be positioned on the outside. And yeah, just uh, bump it up until the text is nice and legible. And that looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'm going to hit Command, Option, Shift, Save. That's going to make... Um, yeah, it's going to save it for web. Pick JPEG as the preset. Save it to about a thousand. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Save it as whatever you want. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make some memes.